Hey and welcome to another tutorial. Today I will show you how to create this cool looking happy birthday card inside Microsoft Word. And you can imagine that this is like the folded card when this is the first page, this is the inner part of the card and this on the left is the back page. And there is this little grey text down here which says just where I did get this image from and the icons from. But don't worry, I will put the links in the description. Now the idea for this card actually started with this photograph from Pexels done with Dominica Roseclay. I really like this photo and I thought about this saying, you know, when life gives you lemons, if you just put this into Google Images, you will get like a dozen of images with different endings, you know, some funny ones, some cliche ones. So you can spend some time in there trying to find something which suits your needs, maybe not as cliche as I've used in my, uh, in my you know, card. So with that said, let's just jump into blank document and start creating the card. So I will start in blank document and I will change in the layout, I will change orientation from portrait to landscape. And I will also change a uh, file or, or the paper size to letter, which is the US version of the A4, which is eight and a half by 11 inches. I want two columns, so I'll select two columns and I will probably add a few more line stops. Now I want to have some kind of separator or some uh, guideline where it's the half of the page and I can probably draw a new line. So insert shapes line. I will wait until the menu is loaded and I will draw it with the shift key being pressed like so and I want to position it around the middle of the page. Now if I do it like so it will be quite hard to work with because it may be moved with the content and I have to copy it for every single page. So instead I will just uh, cut this into clipboard so Control X to put it into clipboard and I will double click around here to jump into the header and footer section. Now I will paste it, move it around the middle of the page right click and select format layout options and set this to be five and a half inches based on the page because the page is 11 inches wide and zero inches based on the page as well. So now it's exactly in the middle. I can change in the format uh, ribbon. I can change the outline to be some darker gray color and I can double click in the, around the middle of the page to jump outside of the header and footer. Now the advantage of doing it like this is I can jump into the next page and you will see that immediately I do have this line in here as well and it, I cannot accidentally just select it or move it or delete it so that's great. So the next step is to insert this photograph. I will open my browser, right click this photo and set the copy image. I can of course as well uh, set, you know, say you know, free download this image in the high resolution if I want. Jump into my document and just paste it in here set the layout options to be behind the text and just position it on the right side of the page like so, like this. Okay, maybe make it just a little bit bigger like so. Okay, kind of like it. Now we need the text. So I will insert a new text box, insert shapes and it will be a text box. I will draw it like this and of course write in when life gives you lemons. I have to change the language, that only happens to me because I'm using a Czech version of Word and I will increase the font size to some much much bigger size. Now for the actual font used, I will use font called uh, Sensa from Font Fabric, which is a paid font, but they offer a limited version of the font for free, so you can just click download for free. It don't, doesn't have all the characters, but it's perfectly fine for our use case. So I will change the font to Sensa, like so, and maybe increase this, this size just a little bit more, like so. Now for the text box, I will open the format pane or format ribbon and change the fill to no fill and the outline to no outline. And for the text itself, I will make the center aligned and maybe decrease the spacing a little bit. So I'll open the line spacing options, set the no, no spacing before or after, and the line spacing should be multiples of maybe 0.7 or 0.8. Now just to make this uh, aligned in the middle, I will open the format ribbon and in the align text I will set this to be aligned to the middle. Okay, and I'm pretty happy with the result, I kind of like it. So this will be our, our first page. I can copy this text box in the clipboard, Control C, and just paste it in here. And in here I will of course write in add vodka, I have to start writing from the middle of the text box, add vodka and enjoy your birthday. Okay, 
and I will decrease the font size just so I can see everything like so add vodka and enjoy your birthday hopefully there is no there are no typos in here okay now what's missing compared to our uh, my original uh, card is there was this icon with the with the glass of vodka so I will jump to my browser I already have this icon opened it's from the flat icon website and it's this one and I can download it in either PNG or SVG file now the PNG file is fine but it will, wouldn't be it wouldn't allow us to change colors so it's much better idea to download it as an SVG file so I will just download it and inside Microsoft Word I will select insert new picture And I have it in my pictures, and this is this glass of water with such uh, with whatever. So I will insert this SVG file, and I will change this layout to be behind the text and make it just a little bit smaller. Now, because this is an SVG file, it's a vector file. I can scale it to any size, and it will be still crisp. And the other advantage is I can change the color because, you know, it's just a vector. I probably will not change the color, but you can still open the format ribbon, and if you want, you can set the graphic fill to some different color if you wish to. I will probably keep it black for this case. Okay, so what was in my original card was also a different kind of background. And that's only done with the rectangle. So I will insert shapes being the rectangle. So this is the rectangle. I will just draw it much bigger than anything else. Send this to back behind everything. Actually, I need to send this behind text and align it properly. And for the right one, I've used some very light gray colors, so the outline is no outline and the fill should be very light gray, maybe this one. I will copy it and paste it one more time, move it to the left, and for the left I've used some kind of uh, yellow or, or something in between yellow and orange color. If I open the more fill colors, the RGB values are 255, 215 and 103. I've probably started with this color and maybe make it a little bit more to the yellow, yeah, like so, like this. So it kind of matches the photograph on the left side. So the very last piece which is missing is this kind of lemon pattern overlaid on the left side of the inner part of the, of the card. And for this one I've also used a different icon which is this very simple lemon icon from the flat icon. So I will as well download the SVG file and in my document I will insert it. So insert pictures and in my pictures I have this icon which is just called icon SVG and what I, will, what I will do is I will change the layout to be behind the text zoom in a little bit just so I can see it better and I will rotate it by 35 degrees by holding the shift key on my keyboard like so then I will draw a new rectangle and the rectangle is important just because I want to have some spacing around this shape so I will draw a new rectangle like so like this but for the rectangle, I will set the fill to no fill and outline to no outline. So it only, only sets the size of our pattern. I will open the selection pane, so home, select and selection pane. And I will select this rectangle together with this graphics, which is this one. I may group it so it's easier to work with. So I will group it into one group and just copy this into clipboard holding the control C or just copying it with this button copy. And I can hide it because I don't, I don't need it. Maybe before I do it, I will probably change the fill color for the lemon to some different one. So I will change the fill color to maybe this orange. And just in case, copy it into clipboard one more time. So now this image is copied into clipboard. I can zoom out, hide this group. And over the this left part of the inner part, I will draw a new rectangle, one more rectangle. So insert shapes, rectangle. And I will draw it pretty big, right click and select format shape. And for the line I will set of course no line because I don't want any line. And for the fill I will use a picture fill. And you know it's already predefined from my previous session but I will click insert from clipboard. Then I will say I want to tile picture as texture which will just you know tile it. And by default the mirroring is set to none so it's just like this. But I've used the mirror type to be both which creates those more interesting pattern, I guess. So this is similar to what was used. Maybe I, for this case I like none, just so it's it's simpler. It fits the theme better. Okay, so I will close all those panes so they are not distracting. Maybe position this pattern a little bit more to the center. 
and zoom out just so we can see both pages. And that's it. That's how you create a nice looking uh, happy birthday card inside Microsoft Word in almost no time. Thanks for watching.